Hello. In the previous video, we looked at how to calculate the surface area of a cube um, using our surface area formula. And the formula that we looked at was surface area is equal to 6x squared. And we said that the x squared comes from the area of one face of our cube. So if this is x and this is x, the area is going to be x squared. And the cube has six faces, so we multiply this area by six. So this is where this formula comes from. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to be working backwards. I'm going to give you the surface area of a cube, and I'm going to ask you to calculate the dimension or the side length of the cube. So let's start by looking at this example. The surface area of this entire cube is 3,750 square centimeters. We're asked to calculate the measure of one side of the cube. So we just want the side of, say, x. That's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some algebra to figure out what x is. So let me write one I know first. I know that the surface area is equal to 3,000. 750 cubic centimeters. This equal stays where it is, the 6 stays where it is, and then I don't know what the x is, this is what I'm looking for, so I'm going to write it as is. So essentially, the formula that I'm working with is, or the equation I should say, is 3,750 3, is equal to 6x squared. And I'm trying to isolate or get x to be on its own. Okay, so we're going to use the rules of solving equations here. So that's the opposite of bed mass. So the first thing I'm going to do to get x on its own is I'm going to get rid of this 6 here. Now 6 and x squared are being multiplied by one another. So to reverse or undo multiplication, we have to divide. So I'm going to divide on both sides of this equation. Because what I do to one side, I have to do on the other side. If this part is confusing to you, what I recommend that you do is you draw a little squiggly line where the equal sign is, so you know where the right side is and where the left side is, okay? So what is the number that I divide by? It's always the number that you're trying to undo or the number that you're trying to get rid of. I'm trying to get rid of 6, that's why I'm dividing, so I divide both sides by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1, so it's now not a part of our right side of the equation. The only thing left on our right side is x squared. Now on the left hand side, I have 3,750 divided by 6, and using our calculator, we get 625. So now what I have, I have this equation here. I have x squared is equal to 625. Now I want to get x alone though. I don't want that squared there. Okay, because right now what this is telling me, this is telling me that the area of this entire face is 625, but I want to know this only, right? So essentially what this question is asking us is what number times itself will give us 625? Now, of course, you can use guess and check. You can try 1, 2, 3, 4 until you get to the right number. But that's a very lengthy process. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that squared very quickly and very efficiently. So we know that the, the undo or the inverse of addition is subtraction. And the, the inverse of subtraction is addition. Multiplication, that would be division. Division is multiplication. So what undoes a square? That would be a square root. Now we're going to look at this a little bit more deeply in module 6, um, but for now, just know that the inverse or the opposite of squaring something is square rooting it. It cancels it out, okay? So what I'm going to do on both sides of the equation here is I'm going to take the square root. The square root and the square, they now undo one another. The only thing left here is just x, and that's exactly what we wanted. Now, on your calculator, you're going to find the square root symbol. If you can't find it, ask a teacher. And then you're going to type 625 and hit enter. And the answer that it gives us is 25. That means this side of the cube is 25 centimeters. Not centimeters squared, just centimeters, because this is a measure of length. So, there we go. We just used uh, algebra and working backwards to find the side length of a cube.